Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel where it's all about learning and playing the music we love. I'm Phil and this video is the next in the series looking at the skills and techniques that make the playing of Mark Knopfler completely unique and recognisable. In over 45 years of listening to and playing the music of Mark Knopfler, I've noticed, as probably you have, that there are some characteristics of the way the great man plays that set his sound apart from anyone else, whether he's playing in a rock, acoustic, strap, Les Paul, folk, or any other style you care to mention. One thing is certain, you can always recognise the MK sound. And this is, of course, down to what he does with his fingers on the strings. So without further ado, let's dive in. Come with me. In this next video in the series, I'm going to look at what I call the cascade. You'll hear this technique used on a lot of MK's music. Some examples are Sultan's a Swing, uh, around the five minute mark on the album version. Uh, Tunnel of Love, 17 minutes, 17 seconds on the album. Lady Writer, lots in Lady Writer, 40 seconds, one minute, 15, two minutes, 14. So I'll use these three songs to show you how to master this technique. Okay, the first example is in Sultan's a Swing on the album version. And it's probably one of the simpler kinds of cascade that MK uses but no less effective for that. So it's sort of at the beginning of the final solo. And uh, it's at this point. So that's, that's a pull off. And that's a technique, that pull off and hammer on technique is a technique that goes right through these cascades. split the screen and I'll show you what my picking hand is doing so that you can see how that hammering on and pulling off works. I'm moving my hand away so that you can see that I'm not plucking. Do that again. Okay, so the next example is Tunnel of Love, that fantastic solo at the end of the album version. It is the album version I'm gonna use. So if you look at seven minutes, 17 seconds, that's the little cascade I'm gonna use as the example. It's worth remembering the, sh the sort of the shapes of these cascades because they are used in other parts of his music other than Tunnel of Love. From here. So from the B string, and you're moving down almost half a step on the G string. So if you can embed those shapes in your memory, in your muscle memory, you'll do pretty well around all of Mark Knopfler's music. So, Lady Writer, I'll play that first cascade through at 40 seconds, so you can see how that works. Again. Okay, this one is not dissimilar to the previous one in that it starts at the top of the neck and works its way down. Some hammering on and pulling off as we had before. So I'll just work through that slowly for you. Mm -hmm. 
Let me show you the picking hands so you can see how the pulling off and hammering on works. That's a pull off, then it's a slide down, pull off, slide down, pull off and slide down, pull off, Okay, so again, it's a different take on. Let's have a look at that final one at two minutes 14 to give you the full range. So that two minutes 14 cascade, very similar, couple of differences. So we start right up here. Okay, let me play that through a little bit quicker and then we'll have a look at the picking hand to have a look at the hammer-ons and pull-offs. The real secret with this one is quick movement down the fingerboard. So practice slowly until you can do it and then increase the speed slightly each time. So that's the Cascade. You'll find that all over MK's music. There are slight differences in the way he plays them depending on the song. Obviously different speeds, different keys, but the fundamental thing is fairly similar. So give it a go, enjoy it, practice slow to start with, and before you know it, you'll have it nailed. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you got something out of it that you can use in your playing. Look out for the next one in the series, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.